all the wrist, <laughs> like hitting a baseball. And so, as you can see, you want it to be broader at the base and narrower at the, at the apex. So there's a, there's a, yeah. Would you, would you come and take, take a refined position here on this? Please. <coughs> so what you want to do is sit down in front of it. Just put the safe up against the, the firm end. You know, the fringes are at that end. And you can lie back. And then you can take the free end and turn it under it like, like this. Can you take it off the other side? No, that's too high. 45 degrees. Good? Perfect. Just keep stretching your legs out. This is a narrow support that I like to use after. This is really bothering me. Lift your head up, please. This is a, a narrow support that I like to use after a while. Raise your hand again, please. You want to always see that the chin, the bottom of the chin, is more or less perpendicular. So you don't want the chin to be pushed up. That just closes the third eye. The chin can be perpendicular or a little bit down. Not pushed up. Do you feel okay? Mm -hmm. The hands are out to the side. You want to see that the hands are the arms aren't too close to the torso. You don't want the, uh, the arms to, to obstruct the side ribs from moving. But then you don't want those hands to be too high because that, that hikes the shoulders up into the ears. And then you want to make sure that when you lie down, that you, you look at the two sides of your body like you look at a, an old-fashioned scale where you have two hands on, on, a, on a balance beam. You want to sort of rock a little bit from side to side and get yourself sort of right in the middle so that you're not tilted, so that you're right or left. Don't underestimate the importance of a neutral position. You can see in a lot of people, take a look at her feet, for example, her, her left foot's turned out a little bit more than her right foot. So the brain, even though you're not conscious of it, the brain experiences misalignment to any degree as a disturbance, and it's really hard then to quiet the brain. So you might want to come up and take the ankles and just do a little bit to the head to the femur bones. And then they're a little bit better. Uh, they're more resting more evenly on, on the same part of the heel. And then you see the hands. She's got her hands mostly on, the, on her, um, on her uh, middle finger knuckle, which is fine. And then look at the head. Yeah, the head's fine. Her left, ear, her, her left ear might be a little bit higher than her right. I would say balance. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, I couldn't tell. <laughs> we'll come along, and I'll pull out a little bit more. And then, you know, well, this, I'll turn around and back in five minutes, you'll be on your step. Because you feel comfortable this way. And the moment when somebody does this, then it feels uncomfortable. But, you know, eventually she'll get it. So maybe we'll have a short um, workshop on, on Shavasana tomorrow. <laughs>